Hi guys, Tammy here for TV23 Productions. Back once again with a game review. This time around, reviewing WWE's Man vs. Raw 2010. Still featuring ECW. So, this time around, the game kicks off in a practice arena. Cool added touch. I guess this is to help the user with for the different layouts in the bottom. Pretty good, really. Good start to the game. In 2010 version of the game, you can edit the superstar. Very good. However, you can only edit the clothes, so change the different colours. It's not great, but it's better than what it was. Road to WrestleMania is back. Of course it is. Still better than ever, the 2010 version. This time around, you can play as a creative character. Play as Edge, Shawn Michaels, Brand Warfare, so SmackDown vs Raw, Randy Orton, and for the first time ever, you can play as a diva. If you really want to. The ending video to your selected Road to WrestleMania is pretty good. It's uh, narrated over many different clips of WrestleManias by superstars saying what WrestleMania means to them. That, pretty cool. In the creative superstar Road to WrestleMania, which I did, you start off, uh, you sat in the crowd, and you get called into the ring by Santina Morella, and you win the Intercontinental title, just like he did. <clears throat> you win the title, you win the title in your first match. That's good. The cutscenes are awesome, great animation, even a bit of comedy thrown in. Very good this year. The animations of the commentators, the wrestlers and the crowd have gotten a lot better. This time around in WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2010, featuring ECW, there are no icons in the top of the screen. Oh no, they are now on the feet of the wrestler. This was very different and personally I preferred them in the top of the cor top corners of the TV rather than on the feet. Uh, they've been in the top corners for many, many years, many different games, so why change it to the feet? I don't know. Didn't really like it. When you perform a finisher, the screen kind of goes black and white with uh, camera shots from the crowd that light up the ring. This was a nice sort of torture, almost as though when you're getting finished, you uh, go into a black and white flashing coma state. Hard to describe, but I liked it. Good addition, good way to use a finisher really. So a lot of previous wrestling games I reviewed, I've done a death count. WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2010 does not get away with it. So I counted that there are 29 superstars no longer with the company. And there is still only one dead superstar, and that dead superstar is Umaga. If we were back in 2010, then this was the best wrestling game out there. But WWE 13 does still edge out as the best wrestling game currently on the market. So that was my quick review of WWE SmackDown vs Raw 2010 featuring ECW. Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Nations of the commentators. Uh -huh. The rest.